a table saw for cabinet making versus a track saw for cabinet making. Uh, you can see right off that I own both of them, and I will explain to you why I own both of them. And it does have to do with cabinets. Uh, but why would I want one over the other? This table saw is quite a bit more expensive than this track saw. Uh, so why not just buy a track saw? So let's talk that through. Let's talk about the characteristics of these. And I want to point out that we also have videos uh, about each of these three uh, tool, each of these two tools, and uh, probably more information about those that we will put in links down below. And if you like the content you see in this video, as always, we suggest that you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button so that you'll get notified when we produce new content. So a table saw, just as a quick basic review, you can do rip cuts, which means cutting wood along a fence, pushed up near the blade, uh, so you make the cut along the length of the wood. Or you can do cross cuts, where you put the piece of wood in some kind of a miter gauge and you push it into the saw blade and you cut across uh, the width of the wood as opposed to the length of the wood. The track saw can do those same two cuts. The track saw utilizes uh, a track that it goes on and that's what imparts accuracy and makes it capable of producing uh, cabinet type of cuts. So, um, it's, it's important to know that I can take this saw to the job site much more easily than I can take a table saw to the job site. So one of the differentiators between using a table saw and using a track saw is whether or not you have to do your work at the job site or whether you're going to do your work in your workshop with your table saw. You certainly can do everything on the table saw. And um, I want to tell you, you can do all the things also at the job site with a track saw, although cutting small, thin pieces of wood that are small can be a little trickier with a track saw than using a miter gauge and a cross cut on a table saw. So why would I want to own, let's say I'm making cabinets in my shop. Why would I want to own this track saw at all? Does that give me any value added in the job of making cabinets? And the answer is, at least for me, yes, it does. And the reason is because this saw is very good at taking large pieces of sheet good, goods, that is four by eight sheets of plywood or any size sheets of plywood, and cutting them down to size. Because trying to pass a large sheet of plywood handle and pass a large sheet of plywood over the surface of this table saw both safely and accurately is not trivial. It's, it's, it can be difficult and it's very heavy work. If you use the track saw you can go outside for instance and you can put it on a piece of uh, insulation uh, that you uh, sacrificial insulation that you can cut through foam insulation, and you put your track, your, your, the wood to be cut, the piece of plywood on top of that, then your track, then your saw on the track, and you make the cut without ever moving this big piece of wood once you've placed it on the ground. Because you line up the cut by lining up the track on the top surface of the plywood, and then run this over it. You don't have to run the wood over the top surface of the tool. So, uh, for me, I use this to break down uh, large pieces of sheet goods before I bring them in to do the rest of the milling for cabinets. But again, you can do all of the milling for cabinets using a track saw, and you can do it portably and outside. The cost is also significantly different. This is not uh, a terribly inexpensive saw. It's many hundreds of dollars, but this saw in many cases is thousands of dollars. 
And it's also, you need a lot of room in your workshop to use it. That's another consideration. So another uh, reason potentially for making this choice rather than a table saw for doing your precision work is if you only have a small workshop, a small space in which to work, and putting a, a large table saw in that space is going to uh, rob you of space to do put other tools or do other things. So space can be a consideration as well. So here's an example that I want to show you to illustrate a couple of the differences uh, and similarities between the table saw and the track saw. If you were going to make a simple shaker, this is a cabinet uh, pretty much completed except for finish. Uh, if, if you were going to make a shaker cabinet where you had just uh, square edges here and no bevels and no raised panel kind of stuff, that you can do on uh, either the table saw or the basic cuts can be done on the track saw. But if you look at this side, you'll notice that we have this beveled edge in here for decoration, uh, which really looks nice. It's sort of a, a, a raised panel without actually doing a raised panel. But this you would not be able to do in any way on the, uh, the track saw. But with a table saw, it is possible to push, put this decoration, this decorative edge on here, even without a router. You can do it just with a table saw. So again, you can use both of them. Uh, one is a little bit more flexible than the other, but you can do the basic job with both of them. Uh, if you like the content, we ask that you subscribe and we'll send you notification of even, even more uh, high quality content.